Boy, marry me? Girl, do you have a house? Boy, no. Girl, do you have a BMW car? Boy, no. Girl, how much is your salary? Boy, no salary. Girl, you have nothing. G how can I marry you? Leave, please. Boy, talk to himself. I have one villa, three property lands, three Ferrari, two Porsche. Why I still need to buy BMW? How can I get the salary when actually I'm the boss? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure bosses and CEOs still have salaries. I'm pretty sure that they still make money. It's just like a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure they still have a salary. So I don't really know what this guy is talking about. What's up, boys? Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally reached the end of 2022. It's been a pretty crazy year for everybody, but I mean, for me specifically, you know, I, I turned 18, I moved out, I graduated, whatever, and now I'm kind of living life as a YouTuber in the real world. But really, we're where this year shined the most was on the Dark Dom channel, where we looked at a lot of things, a lot of just odd and weird things. Today, I'm here to share with you the best of one of those things. R slash on 14 and this is deep, a, a cesspool of fake deepness that really gave me a considerable amount of content this year. Anyway, for this video, I just want you guys to let me know what your 2023 goals are in the comments section, whether that's, you know, want to lose a trillion pounds or, or, or start going outside more, and then, you know, maybe come back to this video in a year and just see if you actually were able to accomplish what you wrote down in the Dark Dom comment section and in, in 2022. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy the video, boys. Shine bright like a diamond, Rihanna. Diamond don't shine, idiot. They reflect Albert Einstein. It's true, guys. Albert Einstein actually said this after he heard the Rihanna song. He was like, hold on, hold on. All right, first of all, this song sucks. Second of all, you're a liar. And then he died because Rihanna's music just killed him. He just exploded on the spot after listening to the song. I'm not crossing the road. The road is crossing my forest. You know, that's actually pretty impressive that that bear was able to be arrested by that cop. That cop has to be either extremely intimidating or just extremely strong or the bear just gave up and didn't even try to resist because if a guy like that can arrest a giant mammoth of a beast of a bear like that, that's actually crazy. That's like literally, he's Superman. Be careful when you follow the masses. Sometimes the M is silent. Follow the ass. <laughs> what? Like, what does that even, I don't understand like how that's supposed to be <laughs> that's supposed to be deep i don't get it it's true guys butts are very bad for you don't like butts butts are bad what's the saddest word in the english dictionary depression you know what mine is what almost oop why she almost made it they almost dated i was almost good enough he was almost in love with me she almost survived we almost made it. I feel like, first of all, I've seen this post in another video of mine. I don't know why it looks familiar. But also, almost isn't always necessarily a bad thing. I mean, like, I almost died. Would you have rather just, like, died? Is that what you're saying? I almost got kicked out of the movie theater for running around naked during the screening of Black Panther. He loved a girl. He wanted a crown. Until, until... He wanted a crown. He loved a girl. Is this like supposed to be like a deep post about what is that frozen? No, that's Rapunzel. What is that movie called? Tangled? Yeah. I cannot believe that 268,000 people left a like on this image and they were like, yes, dude. So true. I'm just like Rapunzel. Girls. Boy's life is so easy. Boy's life. Just a guy getting beat up by depression and anxiety, friends and girls. First of all, friends? I don't feel like they're your friends if you feel like you're constantly getting beat up by them and they're more of a burden to you than an actual thing that you like being around. If that's the case, they're not your friends, man. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you should probably look up what the definition of a friend is because it's not that. This is a very unpleasant feeling. I'm 14 now. I miss when cartoons were in their prime. I miss the hub network. I miss not having to worry about life. I miss having a reason to look forward in life. I miss being a kid. Oh, geez, man. That's setting a little bit early for you, because, uh, trust me, it, it gets a lot worse. I'm sorry. It gets a lot, lot worse. Good luck, brother. That's all I can say, because I'm about to embark on my journey of moving out soon in, like, less than a year, and this is basically gonna be me, but I'm not gonna complain about it like this. How I won the lottery. I won the lottery. $203 million, to be specific. They asked if I'd like that in a lump sum or monthly payments. I said, neither. Give it all to my biggest hater. <laughs> they did it. My reason? 
If my hater has $203 million, then I will make it my life goal to make $204 million. Most people don't realize the value of the grind, the hustle, the chase. You can't put a dollar value on that. What did I just read? I like how they just like, he just said, give it to my biggest hater. And they just immediately like did it. They, like, they just knew who it was. Like they have just been following this guy and they're like, this dude hates this guy. So this is definitely who we're giving the money to. I think the moral of the story of this one guys is make sure there's one person in your life that you hate extensively and just constantly bash on for absolutely no reason. Because you never know. One day they may win the lottery and give you 203 million dollars so hey remember to be a hater today guys say something mean to somebody today's reality the guy what he's going to this girl's door and he has just a sperm <laughs> box what is this there has to be some form of extra context for this this can't just be the entire image like what is going on in this picture and why does she live in like a brain yeah there has to be another panel to this or something there's no way that this is just the picture because something here is missing a smooth sea never made a skilled warrior to be honest they're not wrong you know last time i checked if they were to take a guy and put him out on a boat in the middle of the ocean for like two months and then bring him back and say hey fight in this war he probably wouldn't do very good that would be my guess now, this picture it says a lot about society because if she wants to go to bed she has to sleep straight up in the most uncomfortable position possible and she can't sleep on her side which sucks and also that outlet doesn't even fit that plug so she just straight up actually can't lay down so she just doesn't get any sleep i kind of feel bad for this lady also she has a cybernetically implanted plug in her head she probably gets stared at in public i mean this lady's life is probably hell let's be honest here we stopped checking for monsters under our bed when we realized they were inside of us yeah it's so true i'm so emo god man like i swear the people who make these kinds of posts have to look back on this in like five years and just be like what was i thinking i mean this girl is bold for putting her face in this picture because she's gonna look back on this in like six years and just feel like an idiot and everyone's gonna make fun of her i guarantee it elon musk many people will panic to find a charger before their phone dies but won't panic to find a plan before their dream dies. You know, I just gotta say this. Thank you so much to whoever made this post for circling the Elon Musk tweet because without that giant bright green circle, I don't think I ever would have found the tweet. I mean, it's just so hard to see without the circle. It, where is it, you know? Secondly, I'm pretty sure that Elon Musk just straight up never tweeted that. I don't think I've ever seen him tweet that once. I, I don't think he tweeted that. I think this is a made up post. Cillian Murphy once said, if you love too hard, just stay single because the people in this generation don't appreciate that shit anymore. Who is Cillian Murphy? Wait, hold on, let me look this up. Okay, so I guess he's an Irish actor. Dude, look at this picture of this guy. He looks like a Ken doll. Doesn't even look like a real person. Honestly, that's what he gets for being Irish. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also just gonna go out on a limb here and say that he probably never said this either. Just like the Elon Musk thing. I'm pretty sure that these people just straight up make up quotes for famous people and then they just say that they said them when in reality they never even spoke those words in their life. Sometimes to protect people from the monsters, you have to be a monster yourself. Anionymous. Anionymous was kind of spitting with this one. I'm not going to lie. And they got the furry profile picture. That is awesome, dude. I mean, I have not seen a lot of uh, I'm 14 and this is deep furries, but now that they exist, I think we can all celebrate. Everyone come to my house. We're throwing a party. Without friends, days are sad day, moan day, tears day, wasted day, thirst day, fright day, shatter day. So be in touch every day. What is life without friends? Friends are the best part of our life. Yeah, it's a good message, but I got a couple questions. What do you mean by moan day and thirst day? You wanna explain what you mean by those things, please? Cause I've got a couple questions. Teamwork makes a dream work. I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I would just run straight at these guys and go barreling through the guy in the middle and just see how far I could send him flying. I kind of want to people today. Jump off the cliff. <laughs> no way. Hashtag jump off the cliff challenge and he's off. I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know if this is how that would go. You know that saying that old people use that's like, oh, if this person told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Like, no. 
<laughs> Why do they always say that? No, I would not jump off a bridge. Must be tested on in a lab. I mean, I think we have like a, a symbiote or something on our hands here. I'm fine. Delete feelings. Deleting this will also delete its data. Dude, I swear these people use the same exact three like filters. The 1% battery thing, the broken hearts, the delete feelings. Grow up, okay? Grow up. It's it's embarrassing. You guys are pathetic. You lied, I cried. You flirt, I hurt. You want it, I need it. You forgot, I remembered. You promised, I kept it. You stoked, I started. You were done, I was trying. You let me, stop lying. Hey, hey. Yeah, bring it back now. You lied, I cried. You fern, I hurt. You want it, I want it. How to impress a girl. Respect her, honor her, protect her, care for her. How to impress a boy. Say hi. Rich, but dumb. Poor, but smart. Rich and smart and smart ass. Boyfriend. Dude, oh my god. Why do I keep burping during videos, man? Boyfriend, girlfriend, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> by pain hub 264 I can't the, the, the craziest part about this post is not any of the posts really themselves because we've seen a million of them before it's the fact that they posted three things in the same post dude they were like how can we maximize this uh, efficiency and they managed to put three into one TikTok. that's actually incredible childhood is not a disease in 1980 it was called daydreaming in 2014 it's called ADHD in 1980, it was called Hormones. In 2014, it's called Bipolar. In 1980, it was called Loner. And in 2014, it's called Depression. I love how, like, none of these things are even remotely the same thing. Hormones and Bipolar? That, that's, that's not even remotely... Do, do you even know what Bipolar Disorder is? Being a loner does not mean you're depressed. <laughs> I, it's true guys uh, science is bad. I believe that uh, we should just abolish all science and therefore We will not have any more progression in the world and we will stick to hormones daydreaming and being a loner because that's where we needed to stay, you know? 2009, 2019, in just 10 years, cameraman and pilot both lost their jobs. Upgrade yourself! <laughs> what does that even mean? Upgrade yourself? Like, like, cybernetically? You want me to, like, implant uh, wings into my back so I can fly and beat out a drone? Is this what you're telling me to do? Bro, that is such a fire line. Like, if I get into an argument with anybody from now on, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Upgrade yourself. I'm done. I'm tired of these boats. Those are a bunch of peons, okay? Upgrade yourself. Did Elon Musk say anything about cheating on exams? Hold on. Oh my god. I'm not even kidding. I looked this up. I went to find this YouTube video because it saw like a, a title was Why Do Students Cheat on Exams? Great saying by Elon Musk. I was like, okay, maybe it's a real post. No. The YouTube video is literally just the same post in a YouTube short. Oh my god. So he actually <laughs> didn't say this, guys. I'm sorry. Seeing only one side is very dangerous. Type yes if you love this. Yeah, there's always another point of view which we call perspective. Yes! This account grind to success is just like, yes, perspective. That is a thing that actually does exist. You can see things from more than one side. That's your tip for the day. I don't really know like what the picture has anything to do with it. The one side is just the side of his head and then the other is his front. Oh wait, he's flipping them off in this one and then in this one he's holding up the number three this is so dumb did you know when the two ears are put side by side it forms the shape of a heart interestingly the word ear sits right in the middle of the word heart h-e-a-r-t the ear is the way to the heart so if you want someone's heart listen to them what is this like picture of the top here what is uh what is that <laughs> <laughs> they try to make a heart out of two ears. That does not look like a heart. It looks like a- I don't even know. That almost looks like- look, looks like lungs. Like a- like a spinal cord with like lungs on them, dude. I don't know. Okay, so she's got this guy who's really sweaty for some reason. She's hugging him and she hugs him too hard and he explodes <laughs> and then she's crying. And then some like other kid who she I guess also likes is wearing a cactus shirt that's really prickly and she hugs him and she gets pricked. So, um... Unironically, I have no idea what the message here is supposed to be. I, like, I'm not even gonna make a joke about this one. I don't even know what this one is supposed to mean. I guess, guys, moral of the story here is do not hug people wearing- Same again. I gotta find this chick, dude. I gotta- Yo, where are you? <laughs> where are you at? Millionaire driving a Bugatti. 20 million views. Millionaire showing you how to build a business to afford a Bugatti. 600 views. People don't want to be educated. 
They want to be entertained. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of those like posts. I don't know if you guys ever get these, but those ads before like YouTube videos where they're like, I will show you how to get rich and quit your day job within a month. And it's like, join my course and I'll I'll, I'll do it and you'll have to pay me $800 a month, but you'll get rich. That's why, man, because all of those millionaires are all scammers. They don't care about you. They just want your money. I've actually decided, guys, I will be opening a course on how to become a famous Reddit YouTuber. It's going to be $2,000 a month, and I will post one video that is 30 seconds long every month that will tell you how to become a Reddit YouTuber. All you got to do is give me money. Earth. Earth created group Earth. Earth added rain. Earth added trees. Earth added animals. Earth added man. Rest is history. Man is now an admin. Man removed animals. Man removed trees. Rain left. Wait. It just doesn't... <laughs> I don't know if this is the same timeline as Earth right now because uh, we still have trees, we still have animals, and it still rains. I don't know, like... I, I heard about, like, acid rain and stuff, but I don't know about rain just stopping altogether. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Normal people. Artist. Why are those... <laughs> those are literally clown colors, man. Why would you want your makeup to look like that? It's literally clown colors. It's What's the message here? Uh, I have no clue. It's just a bunch of people with really long noses sitting around a dying grandma, and then the only one who doesn't have a long nose is the little kid. Are they, like, all lying to her or something? Saying that she's gonna be, like, okay? Or so and then the kid is the only one who's like, like, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. You're about to die. And then that's why he's not lying is because he's the only one who's actually... Is that what this is? It's gonna start again, isn't it? I feel like this world should break me, but... Nothing changes after all. Wow. I don't know who what Discord server this is from, but whoever this is, I hope they're not in any like classes for their, you know, like Discord servers for their classes because they're probably gonna get bullied, to be honest. Art Attack Hub on birthday, 122 notifications. Other days, two notifications. Which one is your favorite? What are they saying? <laughs> are people not allowed to wish you happy birthday nowadays? Is this what the, is this what this is coming to? Guys, please. On my birthday refrain from wishing me happy birthday because on all other 364 days of the year you don't get me the same attention okay so you know what don't even bother at all i don't even i don't i don't even want your happy birthday you become what you feed your mind drama bad news negativity discipline positivity and dreams <laughs> so why is one like actually food <laughs> and the other is just poop who's eating <laughs> Who's eating that? I, 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 what, why couldn't they have made like this like junk food or like McDonald's or, or like, you know, something that actually people eat instead of just like straight up just poop? The heaviest burdens that we carry are the thoughts in our head. Wow. Um, that guy looks like he is um, really struggling, actually. His head is quite literally as big as his body. I, I, how does his neck even do that? Isn't there bones there? How is he alive? I gotta talk to this guy's doctor, man. Oh. When a promise turns into a sorry, and sorry turns into goodbyes, then goodbyes leads you to become strangers. Strangers with memories. Wow. That was... I'm glad that everybody... The whole emo... Uh, <laughs> the whole emo club at school really joined together on this one and, and made a group effort to, to make this post. And then they went to, like, some radioactive, like, plant and put it through the poisoning, and now it's just got this weird filter on it. Why is it, like, deep fried? <laughs> okay, so the title of this one is Painful Convo I'm Currently Having With My 13-Year-Old Cousin and it's four pages long, so this is gonna be quite the intro, but here we go. What is the color of a mirror? Whatever color it's reflecting. Dying is just sleeping in 4K. A dirty mirror is like streaming in 144p. Minecraft was released 11 years ago. Feeling old yet? I feel a bit older. YouTube will be as cringe as TikTok. That last one is just a straight up lie. We'll see. Time and space are essentially illusions. People are basically robots that operate on water and food. The first Doom game takes place in 2022. Wow, so deep. Sorry, no need for a reaction in this one. Imagine reacting to pain like it actually hurt. Couldn't be me. Don't hurt yourself on that edge, bud. It's already been done. I can't react to pain as much anymore. The joke 
You. You can say other experiences hurt me that way too. I know. The joke. <laughs> you. That doesn't hurt my feelings anyway. Dealt with that too many times to feel pain from words. Feelings are basically chemicals reactions. Dude, this kid literally thinks he is an anime villain. Like, if you ever get in a fight with him, he would start, like, monologuing in the middle of it and, and like, talk for five minutes before he even threw a pun. First, they make fun of you. Then, they copy. Okay, but who has ever made fun of somebody for working out? What? Like, oh, look at this stupid idiot trying to better himself and make him and, and, and have a healthier lifestyle. Couldn't be me. Imagine. They're just standing, like, one foot from him while he's just, like, curling and he- and they're just laughing at him, pointing at him, like, two feet away. You guys can at least, like, do it behind his back or something. I feel like this is just kind of weird. What's that in your mouth? A cigarette? You said you wouldn't smoke. You said you wouldn't leave. Damn. That shit hurts. Of course, this at is Laz World, dude. It's always the Juice World fans, man. I feel like Juice World's music was good back when not everybody knew about him, but now that you know he like passed away and and you know, the 13 year olds discovered him, it's just it's a it's a pandemic. It, it really sucks. Reality is so much different than what you see on social media. Um, <laughs> I get a feeling that this first image here is just not true for some reason. I don't know. Last time I checked, Kevin Hart is definitely not bigger than The Rock. Hot take. I just, I, I, I can't, I'm having a hard time believing this. If I walk by myself, at least I know I'm with someone I can trust. Thank you, billionaire mindset. <laughs> Dude, I cannot, I just want to know the people that follow these types of accounts, like what goes through their mind on a day-to-day -day basis. They're like, if I just follow this Twitter account, give me like 10 years and I'll be a billionaire. I mean, that's all it takes, right? That's how Jeff Bezos did it. <laughs> <laughs> I will break my back for the people I care about. The question- Oh, oh my- <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking this, uh, this Wendy's thing, this Wendy's Coke, and it just, like, left my soul. The question is, who will be there to push the wheelchair when it's broken? <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. He looks like that one video of, like, the really, really ripped guy walking into the store, like, and he's just, like, walking like an action figure. <laughs> he looks like this guy. So on one side, we got the pharmacy, the FDA-approved drugs, and the taxes. And everybody there is either getting arrested or really fat. And then on the other side, you have organic, all-natural vitamins and herbs and super health goods. And everybody is having a great time and the world is beautiful. Are they trying to say that uh, medicine and taxes are just bad? Okay, oh, next time uh, I get, like, mortally sick, I'm just going to give myself some super health foods and uh, all-natural vitamins. And I I'm sure that'll clear me right up. Brilliant idea by a restaurant in Australia. No cell phones means 10% discount on bill. I just feel like this is just a way that you can make sure that uh, nobody ever comes to your restaurant. Where gold medals are won. Where gold medals are earned. Okay, first of all, I'm pretty sure that uh, in these like swimming races, you're supposed to hit the wall and turn around. And uh, this guy is literally just gonna lose now because he's actually gone past the wall and is just going into the deep blue sea. Never say dreams do come true because nightmare is a dream too. Thank you, uh, Kaneki Ken. <laughs> I have never seen Tokyo Ghoul, and honestly, posts like this just make me never want to watch it ever, because I'm just like, I feel like I'm just gonna turn into one of these people if I watch, like, any of this. A real person will always love you, no matter how bad the situation is. Honestly, I don't really know what this picture is supposed to be. I mean, I, I guess the black candle is, like, sad, or is he, like, out, or some, I don't, I don't understand. What is going on here? It just looks like this white uh, candle is just humping the black one. And the guy's just like not having it. He's just sitting there like, please get off of me, you wench. Spend some time with your elders. Not everything is found on Google. Okay, so these guys um, might want to go to the doctor. Because uh, they got that, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 head. Do you think you got a 5 head? No, no, no. These guys got a 16 head. You can ban a man from a bowling alley, but not a bank. What does that tell you? It's the hustle like mad. Is that the baby? Is this referencing that thing where the baby got into a fight at the bowling alley, like in the middle of the alley and just was slipping all over the place? Is this what this is about? What do you mean you can't ban him from a bank? What does that even mean? What does this even mean? Just imagine being born in 2150 and going to the museum to see a tree. Moral. Plant trees before it's too late. I'm pretty sure if there were zero trees left on the earth, there would be no more people, actually, to go uh, visit them in this. I'm a little bit interested to see uh, how they actually have air. Maybe it's like in the Lorax where that one guy is like selling cans of air and then <laughs> that's just how they breathe. And maybe it's the same thing now. My life right now 
friend zone, disappointments, stress, confessions, betrayal, expectations, frustrations, heartbreak, loneliness, option, fake friends. I'm okay. Dude, what is option? <laughs> Which one? What does that mean? Oh, I hate having options. I would rather just everything in the world just already happen. I don't want to choose anything. I just want that, my destiny to be predetermined. A New York eighth grader drew this. Powerful. Yes, guys. Masks are terrible. I, I Dark Dom, am advocating for <laughs> the uh, banning of masks everywhere. And I want COVID to just... I just wanted, you know, I feel like 2020 was just a crazy year. We need some excitement back in our lives. Let's just go back to how things were, where everybody was scared and uh, terrified for their lives. Because I thought I was having... I, that was fun, honestly. Reasons to hate are remembered better than reasons to love. Wow, guys, this even goes to show that uh, even if you're a multi-billionaire like Elon Musk, you can still be deep on the internet for a uh, point. I mean, this worked, obviously, because it got 80,000 likes and 11,000 retweets. So, hey, he obviously knows what he's doing. I'm gonna tweet something like that and it'll probably get like 20 likes. So, you know what? Go die in a hole, Elon. It's not always love when you feel butterflies in your stomach. What is that, a butterfly knife? <laughs> I thought it was like a, um, like a bush trimmer for a second. I was like, what? what? Did, did someone eat a bush trimmer? Happy people focus on what they have. Unhappy people focus on what's missing. Uh, I think this guy at the bottom is more just sad that he has nobody, that nobody came to his birthday party. When it's hurt, observe like is trying to teach you something. And then we have, um, that guy, I forget his superhero name, in the, uh, Captain America costume. And Captain America in... Whatever other- Dude, what is this? I'm so confused. What does that even mean? When it's hurt, observe, like, is trying to teach you something? There's no way that the person who made this actively thought that this made any sense at all. Maybe- I, English, like, must not be their first language, because, like, what? You- You- You could- You do- You win. And why does it just say combo meal at the- At the top of the image? Why, are they at a McDonald's? <laughs> we just got Anthony Mackie and Chris Evans just hanging out at the McDonald's? What is going on? Dear Lord. Amen. Um, yo, what's that, uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't know if it's just my, my just destroyed mind, but when I first looked at that, I was not thinking tears. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> think before you break another heart. Heartstrings, tendons inside the human heart. In biology, we dissected a heart, and our teacher told us that the heartstrings can sometimes break after a deep emotional trauma, causing the heart to lose form as a result of being unable to pump blood effectively. You can literally die from a broken heart. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, I don't have a joke for this one, so I'm just gonna say I don't care. I said it. There's hell and hello. There's an end in friend. There's a lie in believe. There's an over in lover. And there's a good in goodbye. There's fun in funeral. I like how this guy's name is I Thought I Was Funny. I, I, I agree, man. You know what? If there's anyone in this comment section that doesn't think you're funny, then they're just wrong. You know what? They're, I, I, they're just stupid and dumb. If Elon Musk ever walks up to me and offers me a hundred billion or a dictionary, I'll take the dictionary every time. That way, I can look up the real definition of wealth. That's so true, dude. I love these, like, inspirational, like, grind hustle posts. I mean, half of them are, like, ironic, but they're still funny. Would you guys rather have $500,000 or a dinner with Elon Musk? I'll take that dinner with Elon Musk. <laughs> it's like, dude, who is ever gonna be in that situation, first of all? Dad, what did these stupid games teach you? Me. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Never leave a man behind. Minecraft. Be creative in stressful situation. PUBG. Fight till the end. God of War. Life is adventure. Red Dead Redemption 2. Take care of yourself. Among Us. Don't trust anyone. How is Red Dead Redemption 2 take care of yourself? Dude, that whole video, they're like smoking, chewing tobacco, shooting people and, 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 and getting into gang fights and then he dies of bronchitis. How does that take care- how is that taking care of yourself in any way? Today, you ignore me because I'm potato. One day, I'll be french fries and you'll crave for me. I know plenty of people that still like just like potatoes. I mean like not like, you know, raw potatoes. Not just fries. You can do other stuff with potatoes than just fries. I think it's so cool my ancestors survived plagues, famine, and wars so I could stare at screens until my head hurts. The screens are to distract us from the fact that we are still facing plagues, famine, and wars. You know, honestly, these people are weak. I, I stare at screens for 
10 hours a day most days my head never hurts maybe you should just i don't know stop being such a loser and maybe and maybe get your bread up and your money up okay and, and stop and stop getting little oh little headaches oh you have a headache you're staring at your screen for too long playing too many video games oh you have a headache when the nice guy gets tired of being mistreated that's when society should be afraid the devil shivers when a nice guy loses his temper. Why is there- <laughs> Why is it a picture of Drake? Did this happen to Drake? Did someone do something wrong to Drake and then he just lost it and became an evil guy? Like, most of the time, these pictures have, like, the Joker or, like, some, like, American Psycho guy or something like that, but it's just- It's just Drake. What the heck did Drake do? Fake is the new trend. And a lot of people seem to be in style. Is that- what is that thing on the on the on the right? Does that just say does that say lol w? <laughs> also, why is there just a red <laughs> it's just a random dog? What whose dog is this? Did the person who spray painted this just leave the dog there? Like, yeah, here's this message. Also, I don't really want this dog anymore, so you can have it. How to be a dangerous human being. Quit P word. Sleep eight hours every day drink only water every day work out six times a week read one to two books a month practice delayed gratification have a purpose i like how it's just like have a purpose oh, oh okay let me just yeah let me just find that real quick yeah let me just like find my purpose i gotta just like think about it and then i'll find it and then i can just have one you know just that easy i have a more intellectual understanding than all of you guys i know what's going on with climate change and heat i know i'm only 13 but i am very mature and my brain has only matured because of my pain and all the heartbreaks that i've been through not because of age heartbreak none of you really know who the real me is i'm scared of this guy he seems like he knows some deep some deep knowledge that i wouldn't even i wouldn't even be able to unlock if i tried grab a plate and throw it on the floor okay done did it break yes now say sorry to it sorry did it go back to how it was before no do you understand Thoughts? <laughs> I like how they're just like, uh, what do you guys think about this one? Listen, I know my posts have been going downhill recently, but uh, I'm trying. Let me know what you think about this one, all right? I like how they're just like, grab a plate and throw it on the floor and the person just does it. Like, if somebody told me to grab like a, a like an actual like plate, like not just like a paper one and throw it on the floor and not explain why I need to throw it on the floor, I would not just do it. Like, this person's kind of an idiot. Some girls watched Beauty and the Beast and wanted the prince. I watched it and wanted the library. Well, boy, do I have a solution for you. I don't know if you guys know this, but libraries are actually real. They're not just in Beauty and the Beast. They are actually a thing that do exist in real life. So hey, there's probably one in your city, in your town, wherever you live. Just look it up on Google. There's a lot of books in them. You can read as much as you want and you can check them out for free, just like in the library in Beauty and the Beast. So, you know, go crazy. Knock yourself out. Maui is not obese. Maui is a powerful demigod. Big and strong and... Oh, you think he looks fat? That's probably because you've been conditioned by the media to accept this as what strong and fit looks like. Am I right? Sadly, these guys are not at all that strong. Yeah, they got muscles, but they aren't built in a useful way. They are built for looks, and that's about it. Are you trying to tell me that that guy in the bottom is not strong? Because I'm pretty sure if I got into a fight with that dude, he would probably beat my ass. But he eats their own, I guess. Also, I don't think anyone thinks Maui is fat. Like, he, he's not really fat. He's just huge. Like, the dude's like eight feet tall. Four different kinds of people. No job. You have time, but you have no travel, and you have no money. Nine to five job. You have no time, no travel, but you do have money. Self-employed. You have no time, but you have travel, and you have money. But if you're a business owner, then you have time, travel, and money. None of these you would really have time. I guess if you, unless you have no job, then you probably would have time. But you still have to have, if you're a business owner, it's not like you just don't do anything. You still have to like run your business. That's like a pretty big job. Okay, here we have another one of those motivational posts. If you make $15 an hour, that new watch isn't $200. It's 13 hours of your life. That new purse isn't $150, it's 10 hours of your life. That new car isn't $400 a month, it's 27 hours of your life a month. Budget your life, not just your money. Who is this guy? What does this guy have to do with- Did he say this? Why is he on this post? You could have just had this post and not had this dude at the top. I don't know what he's adding to it. Never forget who helped you in the hardest time. What the- 
Dude, what is actually going on in this picture? We've got a, a baby who has a bow and arrows riding a tiger cub with a lion following behind who has like a, like a, I guess like a hurt foot or something. How did that baby do that? How did the baby tame a lion cub and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the lion's just fine with it? And then he also figured out how to make a bow and arrows? Where is this kid's parents? Dude, when I was this kid's age, I was like, I don't know, saying Goo Goo Gaga and had a, and had a, and one of those like things in my mouth that I was sucking on. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> and this and this kid is is making bows and arrows and taming wild animals. Wow. I am a loser, I guess. Understanding English, understanding French, understanding Chinese, understanding that she doesn't love you. Damn. <laughs> Yo, you know the wrong guy probably saw this and just like started crying on the scene. Like he probably just got dumped by his girlfriend and he's like having a horrible day and he just sees this and now he's like, God, God she doesn't want me anymore. Eight planets, 204 countries, seven seas, 7,707 islands, 7 billion, 594 million people. And you're in love with someone who ignores you. Okay, here's what I don't understand about these posts. They always have these, like, weird filters on them. Like, why does it look like it was put through, like, a nuclear reactor? What? what <laughs> just screenshot the text? Why, do they ha why does it have to have this, like, weird filter on it? What's the point of being afraid of the zombie apocalypse when you're already a zombie? Wow, guys. Phones are so bad. We should just get rid of all phones. It's not like the person who made this post probably made it on some sort of computer or like some sort of technological device. Cause that would be insane. And that would make them a zombie and a slave to technology. And you would never want to be that because that my friend is very, very bad. The scariest thing we could discover now would be humans on another planet. We are psychologically prepared for aliens, but what if we found humans instead? I don't think that we would probably find humans on another planet, first of all. And second of all, I don't think we're psychologically prepared for aliens. I don't think anyone is psychologically prepared for that. Dude, if tomorrow they were like, Yo, guys, we found aliens, and they're actually- They hate us, and we're going to war with them. I think everybody would probably freak out. And it would probably become a new Twitter trend and, and I'd probably make a video about it or something to get a lot of views, you know, but um You think you understand my Spotify playlist names, but you don't You don't know the deep-rooted symbolism, the associations to moments of my life The associations to moments of my life, the emotion, the depth of it all Only I will ever know, understand, the truth You may see, shut up too, or okay, but it's more than that It's meaningful, important only to me. Yeah. My biggest playlist is called hashtag hashtag swag pack. There's not really mu I'm not gonna lie. There's not really much of a meaning to that one. Um, but you know, we can, we can, we can pretend like there is. A boy and a girl. They're both smart. It's love. If one is stupid and the other is smart, that's pregnant. If one is stupid and the other is smart, that's marriage. If they're both stupid, then it's fail. This has so many messages. Yeah, and I don't understand any of them, to be honest. So, um, I, I think I'm just gonna have to leave it at that one, honestly. Poor dad. Go to school, read academic books, get a job, work 40 hours a week, acquire a bad debt, retire poor. Rich dad. Go to school if you want. Read finance education books. Start a businessman. Hire people. Travel around the world and retire young. Ah, yes. The key to becoming successful in today's society is to start a businessman. Not a business, just the guy who makes the business and then profit off of that. Saw a quote that said, Thank you for letting me go because I wouldn't have walked away. And that hit different. Dude, that hit different, bro. <laughs> bro. That quote, like, totally a different dude, bro. That, like, messed with me, bro. Like, what the- You don't need bigger boobs. You need to read better books. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't really know how these two things are correlated. You could uh, read the greatest books, you know, of all time and still have no boobs. You know, it's just kind of one of those things that it's not, it's not really gonna, you're not gonna get bigger ones just by reading books. Emma K, age six, said it best. What is love by Emma K, age six? Love is when you're missing some of your teeth 
but you're not afraid to smile because you know your friends will still love you even though some of you is missing. So I, I guarantee you that Emma K age six either does not exist or definitely did not write this. Because first of all, this is the neatest writing I've ever seen a six-year-old have. And second of all, I didn't know six-year-olds could even spell, let alone form entire like deep thought paragraphs. I, I, I mean, Emma K, she's gonna be a philosopher of her time. Four different kinds of people. No job, has a lot of time, but no travel and no money. Nine to five job, has no time, a little bit of travel. Self-employed, has no time, has a lot of travel and a lot of money. And a business owner has all the time, all the travel and all the money. So I think we saw a post like this in another one of these videos that I made. It might've literally been the last one. And I can guarantee you that a business owner definitely does not have a lot of time. Um, Laugh with many, but don't trust any. <laughs> Guys, I think this post said it well, okay? I think we need to eliminate frogs. I think we just need to get rid of them all. Because they're obviously not to be trusted. I mean, you can't even sit next to one without it eating you. <laughs> Ecosystem versus ego-system. I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what this is trying to prove, considering there's literally still a big house in the ecosystem one. Is it that, like, they just didn't clear out the land or something for the whole house to just be shown off, I guess? Is it, it's not the ecosystem. There's still a human obstruction right there. People will never truly understand something until it happens to them. Help! 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 If he is singing, it means he is happy. I like how this account's name is at success pictures. <laughs> I don't think this guy I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say this guy is definitely not having a successful moment right now He's he's kind of struggling. It looks like if I have to go through any more character development My character is gonna turn into a villain. I'm not gonna lie I can't take anything serious when it has like this text because it just reminds me of the homophobic dog So at this point, I'm sorry, but if that was supposed to be a serious quote I, I, I can't I, I just I can't do it a picture that speak thousand words. I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what those thousand words are supposed to be. Sometimes I feel stupid coming through the subreddit because I literally just don't understand. So this guy is sad and he's sitting with a person who, I don't know, is not like as able-bodied. And then this is just a family who is really happy. Are they just trying to say like, have kids? I don't know. Someone explain what's going on in this image, bro. If you die, she has 3.5 billion choices, but your mom has only one. What does that? What does that mean? Are they trying to equate your girlfriend to your mom? No, it's not the same thing. Your <laughs> your mom having you is not a choice. I mean, I guess it is a choice, but like you specifically is not a choice. It's just kind of what happened. If you remain positive in negative situation, you win. Be positive. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but <laughs> that flower is actually going to die. So um, you are you are actively killing that flower right now, and also getting yourself soaking wet by blocking the rain from hitting that flower. Because um, I don't know if you knew, but uh, they actually do need rain to um, you know survive humans i hope there is intelligent life in other places in the universe how humans treat intelligent life on this planet okay get in listen uh i'm gonna say this right now i hope there is not intelligent life in other places in the universe are you kidding me because knowing humans we would probably just make them mad or like declare war on them and then we would just get obliterated they'd have some like a planet annihilator laser and they would just shoot it at, at earth within two seconds of us being like war we declare war we'd be finished. So, uh, I hope there is not intelligent life on other places in the universe. I hope that everything else is just like a maggot or bacteria, because otherwise we are screwed. You see, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Literal chills first time I heard that line, and every other time since. It's the phrase that made me realize I'm kinda similar to the Joker, and I understand his pain and sorrow. Rejected by the world, rejected by girls, no friends. I understand him. I'm like the Joker. Someone save this guy, please. This guy, uh, genuinely, this is a dangerous human because next thing you know, he's gonna go on to commit a, an act of mass atrocity. This is gonna be the warning sign that everybody ignored, so hey. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying it now. That's all I'm gonna say. Worrying will never change the outcome. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, another <laughs> success pictures post where this person is definitely not in an, a, a successful situation. I'm just gonna say it. I'm pretty sure that this guy is gonna die. You know my name, not my story. You see my smile, not my pain. You notice my cuts, not my scars. You can read my lips 
Not my mind. The Marble fanboys. Marble? Yes, guys, the Marble fanboys are at it again. They just love their rocks. I don't know what to do. They, they're just, they love their, their, their precious stones. Comment when you got it. A picture with deep meaning. Okay, everybody, let's do this. Let's try to dissect what's going on here. So we got a screw uh, giving a speech to a bunch of other screws, and some of them are holding up signs for him, I guess. Um, anyone, anyone got any ideas? Uh, raise your hand, please. Tetris taught me that. If you fit in, you disappear. That just taught me that if you fit in, you disappear. Toby. Well, thanks, Toby. I personally, uh, you know, people are just gonna take this as a sign to be just weird. Now people are gonna be Naruto running through the hallways and being like, listen, guys. Hey, Toby said that if I fit in, I disappear. I failed some subjects in high school, but my friend passed all of them. Now he's an engineer at Microsoft, and I'm the owner, Bill Gates. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go out and say that, uh, Bill Gates probably did not make this TikTok. You know, I just don't think that, first of all, he probably is, is hip enough to understand how to operate TikTok. No, he's an old man. Doesn't really matter that he's the CEO of Microsoft. I bet he probably still doesn't know how to operate like a refrigerator. It would be pretty funny though if Bill Gates just like made a TikTok and just started making like TikToks, like inspirational quote TikToks just about how like- Guys, you can do it. Just make sure you drop out of high school and fail all your classes and you can be just like me. Boss, take advantage. Leader, empower. Wait, why is like half the thing just like glitch? This dude's head is duplicated and half of it is just like coming off. Also, this is probably not a very like aerodynamic golf club. I'm gonna assume that this guy is probably quite heavy. Honestly, if he can actually swing this guy at like a full speed and, and get a good hit on the golf ball with that dude, he probably would be the best golfer in the world. You know what? Maybe it's good practice. One day, someone will look at you the same way you look at the moon. I mean, this is a nice quote and all, but why did they have to make it like this chart of, of words? You could literally have just written this like normal and it would have come across the same and had the exact same effect. I'm a little bit confused here. Pistol, damage 32. Sniper, damage 112. I love you as a friend. Damage 999. It's true, guys. It really is sad. Can we just talk about how much of a bait that last message is though? Dude, imagine getting sent that. Someone sends you I love you and you're like, oh my god, guys, she likes me back and then like one message later They're just like as a friend like they definitely knew what they were doing there. Come on. Let's be real here six Nine just because you are right does not mean I am wrong. You just haven't seen life from my side Another success pictures where I don't think this is a successful situation. They're having a fight. This is bad. This is not successful. Every single post that I've seen from at success pictures has not been successful. So I don't know what's going on here, but I think they might need to rename their account or something. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. We love 2013 Tumblr. Yeah, the craziest part about this to me isn't even the fact that it was posted in 2022. It's the fact that it actually got 10.1 thousand likes. I don't know, 10,000 people saw this and were like, dude, I've never heard anything more real than that. As a kid, I loved zoos because I loved animals. As an adult, I hate zoos because I love animals. I mean, <laughs> it's not like zoos. I mean, some of them maybe, but most zoos probably treat their animals very well. So I don't I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing to have animals in zoos if they're living a good life. You know what I mean? If you work hard enough, I'm confident you'll make a mark on the world. Years later. And then he's just a, in a car, a sad guy with a receding hairline <laughs> going to work. Listen, man, you gotta fix those eye bags, get a better hairline, uh, you know, lose some weight start hitting the gym, go out more, and before you know it, your life will be turned around in a matter of seconds, all right? It's it's unbelievable what that'll do to you. What he could have done is he could have just started reading Reddit posts on the internet in eighth grade and landed himself a full-time job before he left high school, uh, you know, reading memes on the internet. I mean, personally, that's what I would have done. Amount of distraction. You go from the small phone to the medium phone to the full phone. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't be very distracted if I was just looking at a giant red screen. I'd probably actually just put my phone down because there's not really much to look at there. Teenagers that are actually interested in their future than smoking or drinking all day, please interact with this video. I feel like we're going extinct. It's true, guys. If you smoke or drink, there is no hope for your future. You must just be ready to just pack it up and be a couch potato for the rest of your life. You must not care at all. Now, us real kids, uh, our, us real productive children, don't spend our time smoking and drinking. Instead, we spend our time making TikToks about how we're not smoking and drinking. It's much more productive. Trust me, it, it really, we're getting things done. I'm a girl. I don't smoke. 
I don't drink. I don't party every weekend. I don't wear three inches of makeup. I don't put, I can't read that word, pictures of my bra showing online. I don't make out with loads of guys or other girls to get attention. I'm a girl and I'm me. And I'm not going to change for anyone. You know, it's a it's a nice the idea. The message is nice. You know, don't don't change for anybody. That's true. Be yourself. Don't change for anyone. But it could have gone without all the pick me bull. You know what I mean? Like, it I don't really care that you don't smoke or you don't drink. But yo, you be <laughs> be yourself, man. Whole life in a picture. You got a toothbrush, then two toothbrushes, then like six or seven, then back to two, then one, then your teeth are in there. Just epic. I am so confused. At what point does any person have like eight different toothbrushes wouldn't you just have one but like different ones throughout your whole life who does anyone here use different toothbrushes for like different parts of your teeth I mean, honestly i gotta respect that if you go to that length to take care of your teeth okay guys we gotta analyze this one so we got instagram youtube twitter and books and they're all flowing water into this big thing that's apparently your brain and it's overflowing now there's a creativity knob at the bottom left that isn't on so no creativity is coming out uh i guess everything here is overflowing your brain with something no creativity is coming out of it guys i don't really know how i got started honestly oh uh, well <laughs> oh well the world who's your favorite character me that one the world but they're the villain me yep the world are you going to argue that they're misunderstood me nope they're actually quite evil and psychopathic and murderous they remind me of myself that's why you're their favorite is because they're a terrible person and you are also a terrible person and you're like you know what i love people who are also terrible people they're just like me really whoever posted this could have just slapped a giant picture of the joker and it would have made the post like way more funny and awesome sorry to say this but being a good person doesn't get you love it gets you used I don't know who made this billboard, but I want to know who hurt them, and I want to have a conversation with them, and I want to say that I'm sorry for whoever hurt you, okay? I really am. Listen, you need to move forward, okay? You need to improve yourself. Learn how to having fun without drinking. Talk without phone. Smile without selfies. Dream without drugs. Love without conditions. And hustle without greed. Talk without phone? You think that anytime I'm talking to anybody, it's through my phone, no matter what? Like, I could be in the same room as as my mom and i'm like texting her or calling her on the phone instead of talking to her you got me the jigs up do not tell someone about your good side to make them stay tell them your worst side and see who stays i mean if you don't give anybody any good things about you and you're like hey uh this thing about me sucks then nobody is gonna stay you have to have at least some redeeming qualities for anybody to stay the redeeming qualities just have to be bigger i'm giving out way too much like actual like advice and and, and stuff today like, I'm supposed to just joke and say stupid stuff. Maybe I'll turn this into, like, a, an advice and motivational channel. Uh, this one just says deep. <laughs> He has, a, he has a bunch of bricks on it. Dude, it looks like he's playing Mario. Is he playing Mario? Like, when you hit the block with on your head in Mario, and there's a mushroom about to come out of the top of that thing and make him, like, huge? Screenshot showing the bitter truth of our society. Son. Daddy, I fell in love and want to date this awesome girl. Father. That's great, son. Who is she? Son. It's Sandra, the neighbor's daughter. Father. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. I have something to tell you, son, but you must promise not to tell your mother. Sandra is actually your sister. The boy is naturally bummed out, but a couple of months later, Son, Daddy, I fell in love again and she is even hotter. Father, that's great, son. Who is she? Son, it's Angela, the other neighbor's daughter. Father, oh, I wish you hadn't said that. Angela is also your sister. This went on a couple of times, and the son was so mad. He went straight to his mother crying. Son, mom, I am so mad at dad. I fell in love with six girls, but I can't date any of them because dad is their father. The mother hugs him affectionately and says, my love, you can date whoever you want. Don't listen to him. He isn't your father. Wow. I mean, this there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, why is he calling why is he calling his dad daddy when he's like I'm gonna say like 17, 18? This dude is a menace to this whole neighborhood. He's just going around getting with everybody's mom. He's just like the, the dad of the neighborhood. One day your pain will become the source of your strength. I mean, that's whatever, but what is that picture? What even is that thing? Is that like a, what do they call that? From like the Lion King, those weird dog things? I don't know what they're called. And I might be having a brain fart right now. And oh my god, that thing is hideous. We were killed because 
we warned you. So we got a bunch of famous people and then there's this random llama. <laughs> Who is the llama? What is, is that a llama? I can't even tell. What famous llama was like assassinated? What llama warned us? Please, I'm missing out on crucial information here. Uh, and I don't know how to speak uh, French, but um, this is the standard of the women and none of the women fit the standard and society is like judging. All I'm gonna say here is something is glaringly obvious to me and maybe some of you guys can figure it out before I even say it. The person to the far left, that girl is like eight. What is the deal here? Why is she being judged with these random grown women. Is something going on here that I need to be uh, concerned about? If you fail, never give up because F-A-I-L means first attempt in learning. End is not the end. In fact, E-N-D means effort never dies. If you get no as an answer, remember N-O means next opportunity. Probably gonna go ahead and guess that uh, Morgan Freeman did not say this. <laughs> these posts love to put like pictures of random famous people like above these quotes and, and they just like never said that. Like it's just a lie. Don't push me. The beast inside me is sleeping not dead. I'm honestly surprised that it took almost actually to the end of the video to get a, a Joker post. Usually it's like multiple times a video from the very start, but it actually took this long to get one. No, maybe they're, they're improving. I gotta give them credit. The people are improving. Soon maybe we will have no Joker posts anymore. Soon I'll run out of content. Birthdays then. Look at all these presents. Birthdays now. Look at all these notifications. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but either way, it's still somebody wishing you a happy birthday. Whenever I'm online and it's my birthday and I see a million people wishing me happy birthday. It's not like I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. If only they would wish me happy birthday in real life. Like, I don't care. I'm still happy. 6 a.m. Guy eating cereal. Guy on the toilet. 7 a.m. Guy working out. Guy on the toilet. 8 a.m. Guy meditating. Guy on the toilet. 9 a.m. And did you see this meme? Ha ha ha. Amazing. Did I show you this? OMG. So good. Spending most of our lives on our phones brings us closer together. Ha ha ha. I barely know what's real and anymore and I am loving it. And then the guy who was doing all that other stuff is left alone. I am going going to ignore the point of this post, which is that phones are bad, and focus on the fact that this guy was on the toilet for three whole hours. He must have been so constipated. I feel bad for the guy. Dude, imagine being on the toilet for three hours. I, I, I think I would just give up and stop trying to poop at that point and just live with the poop in my system until I die. <laughs> if you find a body and call the police first, I swear to God. About me. I'm crazy. Get over it. If you're good at something, never do it for free. I like my feelings like I like my arsenic. Midlife crisis at 15. A. Oh, God. Not the A. Yo, midlife crisis at 15. Dude, you're nowhere near midlife. You're not even mid midlife. Bro. Lion may be king of the jungle, but the wolf never performs in circus. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what this could possibly mean. Are they trying to say that lions aren't actually the king of the jungle because sometimes they're captured against their will and put into the circus? Is that what they're trying to say? And wolves don't do that? So they're not the king? Wolves don't live in the jungle. Wolves live in the forest. There's no lions and wolves in the same area. And <laughs> the wolves are the king of the forest. The lion is the king of the jungle. They're not even like in the same category. They're not competing. Ten you won't let this happen to your phone 10% then why do you let this happen with your mind? Well, uh, you know, we can't actually use our full brain powers So, you know, I'm kind of limited with what I got here You know, I'm limited to my 10 or 7% or whatever percent of your brain you actually use If I went any further, I would be literally the most unstoppable YouTuber on the planet I would be beating Mr. Beast, I would be making so much money And I would be a clickbait scumbag and, 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 and scam my fans <laughs> So, hey, you guys better be happy that I'm not, all right? Be thankful for what you have. So this guy's sitting on this bench, and he's wishing he had shoes, and then some dude comes along who doesn't even have legs and is pushing himself on, like, a little cart thing. And then the guy's like, well, you know, at least I have feet. I like how he has a shirt and pants, though. Like, shoes are not necessarily expensive. You can get some cheap, cheap shoes. You go over to Goodwill, you can get a pair of shoes for, like, 15 bucks. Sure, they might look like they were thrown in an inferno and, and like, forged out of, like, the ruins of it, but, you know, you can still wear them. You only see what they post, and this guy's taking a picture of his shoes and the rest of his place is absolutely falling apart. I just want to know, he just has like a random candle on a stool. Dude doesn't even have power. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta, like, listen, this is sad. You gotta get at least power. I mean, come on, dude. Dear men, close your eyes. Imagine you have a daughter and she is dating a guy like you. Can you smile? No. Then change. Worst reality. Wow. That is so sad. Well, no, honestly, because then if I thought about my daughter dating a guy like me, it would feel like my daughter was dating me, and I don't want to think about dating my daughter. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that is just a weird thought to have. Want to fall in love? No. Why? Because everything that falls breaks. Damn. God. 
It's so true. Except for like uh, half the things on the planet <laughs> that don't break when they fall. For example, feathers, bouncy balls, pillows, uh, coats, clothes. Um, you know, anything that's soft is fine. So I guess if you just have a soft relationship, it should be cool. $10 million. Mexican rapper Dan Sir replaces his natural hair with gold chains. $300 billion. First person in history to officially reach the fortune of $300 billion. Goal is to be rich, not look rich. Look, this would be fine if Elon Musk literally hasn't had a hair transplant. Put up a picture of old Elon Musk. And now put up a picture of new Elon Musk. You tell me he just grew that hair? I don't know, man. I don't think he grew that. I'm just gonna say it. There's a fat tire and a load of tires on the truck that none fit for it. This image reminds me of those who have many friends and the day you need one, no one can help. I don't really know what this means. All I'm going to say is that whoever thought it was a good idea to put that many tires on a truck is kind of an idiot. What were you thinking? Tires are not light. You think that dinky little truck can hold that many tires? You're an idiot. You deserve that, man. 2006, zero dollars. Her choir teacher told her that she couldn't sing. 2007, 25 million dollars. She became the first female artist to receive five nominations in a single year at Brit Awards. Don't listen to predictions that doesn't empower you. So what do you mean? 2006 she did that and in 2007 she did that? Well she only did that one year later? She was in like elementary school and her choir teacher told her she couldn't sing and the next year she became the first female artist to receive five nominations? I don't know. I think there was a little bit more time in between those two things but hey you know shout out her I guess. In Japan broken objects are often repaired with gold. Me in Japan dude. Or C-3PO, bro. If C-3PO is Japanese, then he must be the most broken, sad individual. I mean, think about it. He, he's been through it all. He was there when Anakin died. He was there at the beginning. He was there with Rey. He was there with Kylo. The dude's been through it all. I mean, he's been through some stuff, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was completely broken like this guy. Some of us die at 16 to 19, but aren't buried until 60. First of all, why do he say 60? 60 is like still an early death. If you die at 60, I would still consider that dying young. I would and I wouldn't really consider 60 that old. I would say like 80 or 90 maybe. I don't know. This guy's family must be going out early. I feel bad. I feel bad for the guy. F friends. First of all, before I even keep reading, I love how they <laughs> I love how they censored it by just adding an asterisk instead of replacing it with the U. They just added one in, so it still says the word. It just has an asterisk in it. Stop waiting. Go to that concert by yourself. Go on that walk by yourself. Go eat at that restaurant you keep saying you want to go to. Go try all the crazy things you wanted to try and stop waiting on people. If your friends don't want to do it, go do it anyways. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could enjoy a concert by myself. I feel like going to a concert by yourself could be one of the most depressing things you could do. I've killed more people than the amount of hands you touched emo. It's not emo to kill someone. You just haven't experienced it. You sound edgy. Not edgy either. Edgy edgelord. I'm just a guy who'd rather see a lot of people in a casket. It's not emo, nor edgy. It's just how someone is. So with that being said, have fun. I really enjoyed our quarrel. No way. No way he said quarrel. Dude, this guy, I know for a fact, he's like the, he's like, he thinks he's like the anime character who like looks down and like pushes up his glasses and they like glow and he's like, ha. I really enjoyed our quarrel. With that being said, I'll see you later, loser. How the world is now, sad face. You don't smoke, you're lame. Head down, you're depressed. You're quite, you can't fight. You're single, you get no women. Walking away, you are a B word. You get good grades, you're a nerd. I don't know, man. Half this stuff is kind of just true. Most people who are quiet probably don't want to fight. There is an Arabic saying, you want to die? Then throw yourself in the sea and you'll see yourself fighting to survive. You do not not want to kill yourself. Rather, you want to kill something inside of you. No, unfortunately, I think some people just don't want to be alive. As sad as it is to say it, some people just don't want to be on the earth anymore. It, it has nothing to do with what's inside of them. They just are depressed. That's called mental illness, actually. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Read that again. Why is this dude making that face? He looks like he's staring directly into the sun. Dude, you could literally make that TikTok inside. You don't have to stare at the sun to make a TikTok. Go inside, make the same TikTok, and it would get the point across without having to blind yourself, you know? It doesn't seem very convenient. <laughs> Flirt. When you fall for someone's words, lust. When you fall for someone's beauty, love. When you fall for someone's soul. Dude, if somebody told me, like, if I was like, oh, like, how did you and this person meet? And the dude was like, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> I just fell for her soul. I think I would actually call him a cornball and, and never talk to him again. <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. I fell in love with your soul? What does that even- what does that mean? That sounds like something two white people would say after they've been married. She's just my rock. 
I, I, at the second I met her, I just fell in love with her soul. Once you understand why the pizza is made round, packed in a square box, and eaten as a triangle, then you will understand woman. Guys, this is the Andrew Tate method. <laughs> Are they just trying to say that women are really confusing? Because honestly, I don't really care that pizza's made around, packed in a square box, and eaten as a triangle. All I care about when it comes to pizza is if it tastes good. And I actually ate pizza earlier that gave uh, Ryan food poisoning and made my stomach hurt really bad, so... I kind of have a bad rep with pizza right now, I'm not gonna lie. At my funeral, don't cry. I've been dead inside for a long time and you didn't care. Why is Elon Musk in the back of this picture? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really watch any Elon Musk stuff, so I don't know what he says, but I can pretty much guarantee that he probably didn't say that. They just threw him in the back <laughs> of this picture. Why do people do that? I don't understand. I'm selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. I make mistakes, I am out of control, and at times hard to handle. But if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Elon Musk. Again, I don't think Elon Musk said this. I feel like this is just some random quote that they just threw Elon Musk's picture onto and then said that it was his quote. I just don't, I feel like he didn't say it. Stay on the right path, even if you have to walk alone. That's the left path. Post aside, this dude's name is crazy. Van Hustle. That is a hard last name. Well, here's a hot take. Men kill people. Women kill society. <laughs> As a gamer, I would like to thank women for killing society. How, how do women kill society? What does that even mean? What do they do? <laughs> Felix the saddest, but makes us happy. Jack the loneliest, but keeps us company. And Mark the most damaged, but saves our lives. I thought that Mark said Mark is the most deranged. <laughs> I thought that's what he said. Miley Ray Cyrus. Broken phone to match our system slash society. So true, Miley Cyrus. Just to um show my support for you and, and society, I'm gonna get naked and, and, and go on a wrecking ball and fly around in the bathroom or wherever the heck she did that. Oh, the heart uh, gives a flower to the other heart who rejects him and then he cracks in half and then he pops into two and then he loves himself, I guess. And then the other heart is just staring from the distance. Honestly, I don't think the other heart is staring out of like jealousy. I think they're just seriously confused on how this dude just split into two and is now two completely separate people that can be in a relationship with one another. Because if that happened in real life, I would be terrified. So I don't really blame the pink heart. Any last words? Thanks. You okay, dude? That's so deep and awesome. <laughs> Imagine that happening in real life. You're about to die because this dude's about to shoot you, and he's like, any last words? And you're like, thanks. And he's like, well, are you okay? Because all of a sudden, this guy about to shoot you suddenly cares about your feelings, you know? Because that, that usually happens. Boys are like Bluetooth. He is connected to you when you are nearby, but searches for another device when you're not around. Girls are like Wi-Fi. She sees all available devices, but connects to the strongest one. <laughs> I think I know uh, who made this post. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say a girl probably made this post. I don't know why, I just get a feeling, you know? The world before social media. The globe was Foursquare, Instagram was a picture, Imgur was a picture, WordPress was paper, Twitter was notes, Facebook was a book, uh, Tumblr was scissors and stuff, Skype was a phone, Reddit was a comic book, and then YouTube was a picture, I guess. Um, and then this dude's name is Programmer70. So you kind of just outed yourself there, because the world before social media was also, like, pretty much the world before computers, and so you just wouldn't have a job. So I don't really know, uh, I don't really know what you're advocating for here, because, you know, I guess maybe you just don't like your job, which in that, in that case, I, I guess get a new job. Book. Facebook. Wow. Guys, this guy is so much better than everybody else in the world because he's reading an actual book and everybody else is just reading the Facebook. Because Facebook bad, book good. That's what we've all decided here at today. A sculpture of a post-human breathing from the last tree on earth. When the last tree is cut, the last fish is caught, and the last river is polluted, you will realize too late that you can't eat money. I don't, and I've never even tried actually to eat money, but I'm pretty aware that I can't do that. First of all, probably because it wouldn't taste very good. Second of all, just because, you know, I probably wouldn't uh, be able to digest it. Few people understand this picture. 2019, it's just four guys chilling by the water. 2020, it's just two. And 2021, it's just the one guy who's thinking about how it used to be four people. Is this implying that those guys all died? Because <laughs> that's the vibe I'm getting from this. It's not really deep. That's just kind of sad. This is deep. The Book of Lies. Chapter 1. I love you. Oh my, dude, who wrote this book? Look at that. It takes up the whole entire page. 
Talk about lazy, right? Like that's three pages right there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words across three pages. And this book probably is like forty dollars, uh, dude. I authors are scammers. Okay, I've I've decided. Fact: Haters don't really hate you. They hate themselves because you are a reflection of what they wish to be. Was that Bob? Did he say that <laughs> in, in Despicable Me? That is actually a quote from the movie, guys. Uh, he was like, ba -ba -ba banana. And then all of a sudden, he just was like, hey, Gru, haters don't really hate you. They hate themselves because you are a reflection of what they wish to be. Banana. Ba -ba 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 One day, a rich dad took his son on a trip to a village. On the return from the trip, the father asked his son, how was the trip? It was great, Dad. The son answered, We have one dog, they have four. We have a pool, they have rivers. We have tube lights at night, they have stars. We buy foods, they grow theirs. We have walls to protect us, they have friends. We have television, they have spent time with family and relatives. Did you see how poor people live? The father asked. Oh yes, said the son. So tell me, what did you learn from the trip? Asked the father. The boy's father was speechless. Then his son added, Thanks, Dad, for showing me how poor we are. Wow. Yeah, just wait until a hurricane or a tornado comes along and it wipes out their entire village and everybody in it perishes while you're in your house that can survive it with heating and cooling. You know, um, I think you have it a little bit better off than them. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that. This, uh, it really hurts me to see you with someone else. But it didn't hurt you to leave me. What is on the phone? Is that supposed to be water? Is that supposed to be like tears? Is that supposed to be something else? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not 100 sure what I'm looking at here. Um, and I don't. I'm not honestly sure that I want to know what I'm looking at. To be completely honest. Earth, Corona, stop! You're killing them, Corona. But they're killing you. <laughs> is this guy a Corona defender? That is a. Cr that is a crazy take. Imagine being like, actually, um, I support COVID-19. Because, uh, it kills people. People kill the earth. Therefore, I don't think anybody should wear masks or get vaccinated. I think that, that we should all just, um, you know. Very powerful image. Don't leave without a like. What am I looking at in this image? It's not even, like, good Photoshop. Her face is literally just, like, inside the babies, and so is his. The only thing that lines up is their hair. Even that is barely it. What do you mean, don't leave without- I'm not liking this. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry. It's not happening. It doesn't matter how many resources you have. If you don't know how to use them, it will never be enough. My question is, how did this dude even get so many ladders? That is crazy. How did, wh where do you get that many ladders? Did you order all of those ladders on Amazon? He probably spent so much money. That isn't, dude, like, that is a crazy, that is like probably 70 or 80 ladders in that pile. Just if I, if I had to estimate. Everyone has a deep saying, see yours. If I was meant to be controlled, I would have come home with a remote. Marcus. Who is Marcus? <laughs> Is this like a famous guy or something? Or is it just some random dude named Marcus who was like, yeah, this is my deep quote, actually. I've just invented this. Um, please nobody steal my quote without quoting me as Marcus. You don't need to put my last name. Just Marcus. That's all I'm gonna need. We live in a society. Uh, Mickey Mouse gets 280 comments, 1,500 likes, and 970 followers. And the regular mouse gets zero comments, zero likes, and zero followers. WTF <laughs> does this mean? I'm not, I'm not really sure, honestly. Honestly, is it just it's just saying that uh, that Mickey Mouse is better than real mites? Which like you know I I guess don't lie to an overthinker. It never ends well. Such people have trained their brains to look for holes in a story. If something doesn't make sense, they will think about it over and over until it makes sense. I'm that person. Posted in r slash me IRL. Is that a good subreddit? Should I go in there? Should I should I look at me IRL? Does it have stuff like this, or is it actually a good subreddit? And this was just a random post that kind of sucked. If it's good. I might have to take a look at it. If a barber makes a mistake, it's a new style. If a scientist makes a mistake, it's a new invention. If a teacher makes a mistake, it's a new theory. If a student makes a mistake, it's a mistake. Okay, none of these are true, but the least true one by far is if a barber makes a mistake, it's a new style. Uh, Kyle, throw some, um throw some pictures of bad haircuts up on the screen right now. I think that all of these would probably be considered mistakes and I would probably be demanding my money back if I, uh, if I got some of these. How you see the world depends on how you look. No matter where you are, you can still be positive. Um, you know, if I was in jail, I don't think I would be, uh, 
very positive. I don't know. I just feel like if I was in jail, I would probably want to leave and I probably wouldn't enjoy being in jail. Also, this dude looks significantly more roughed up than this guy. So whatever this dude on the right has been up to, he's not a good dude. When someone say, I love you, ask them the expiry date. I don't think that's a word. Expiry? Am I wrong, guys? Or is that just not a word? <laughs> Also, who is this lady in the background? Is that from a movie or something? I've never seen her in my life. Anyway, ladies and gents, uh, thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that, whatever, all the usual YouTuber stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at DomSoEpic, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.